segment of uh, Big Bang Theory L's BTS vlog. Yeah, it is 22 hours and 22 minutes into the day of Friday, August 26, 2016. And uh, the editing has fallen off a little bit, so there is a bit of a delay in the vlogs going out. Uh, still being filmed. I'm still filming the segments. It's just what happens is that uh, there's a bit of a delay on the editing bay. It particularly has to do with getting used to the schedule. As I said before, being a researcher, and the type of research that I'm doing, the open exploration where you're always pushing the edge and you're always pushing the boundaries, you're in like when it's like middle school for life. And the way my schedule is set up in terms of when the projects begin, when projects end, it's usually just around this time, the back to school time, that uh, the new research schedule, the new study schedule, uh, is being put together. I'm sort of gathering and seeing what can be done and trying to uh, adjust my schedule, the usual schedule. Um, to fit all the projects, to sort of fit everything that I need to get done, all the projects that I want to get done, uh, onto the schedule. So it is, uh, in many cases, trying. If 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 you if you're out here every night around for four hours trying to get trying to do the observations and trying to get all your work done at the same time, then uh, some things are going to fall off. That's kind of the normal. Th that's that's normal for that to happen. Uh, and so the editing kind of has fallen off for the last couple of days because I've been a little tired and haven't been able to sort of uh, uh, push myself to do the editing. So uh, the editing hasn't been done. So it, it, it's there. It's on the system. It just needs to be sort of right now i got to do is organize the clips. So the clips have been transferred onto the system. They're just not organized so that I, can, I can't put them into the editor and uh, start rendering them. So that has to be done. Hopefully I can get it done tonight and get the next episode. I think it's the 81st episode. Uh, uh, hopefully I can get the 81st episode out tomorrow. Uh, and then uh, work on catching up from there on out. Uh, it looks like things are going pretty well. Uh, right now I'm waiting for a storm to come in around 1 o'clock in the morning. That's when I'm expecting it to come up. Uh, it's amazing what I'm seeing on the satellite that, that, that you actually do have storms that will appear and disappear within three to four hours. Uh, so the, the earliest they'll, 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 they'll pop up in three hours and then sometimes even up to six hours they'll be gone within six hours. So you have a time span between three and six hours where storms can come out of nowhere and then th they'll spend themselves, or they'll spend the energy that's in the storm. And so they're gone just as fast as they came in, they, they're gone again. So, it, it, but other, other stuff that sits there for months, some of them that sits there for a couple weeks, uh, the system that's in there now, oh, the larger system is, uh, has been there for uh, I think three weeks, I think it's been so far. There's a new system, let's see how long this ends up lasting. If it lasts the entire year, it'll be sort of the new major system that sort of drives everything. And everything else sort of sits in between, you know, inside of this one major massive system that between the uh, North Pole and the between the North Pole and the Equator. Of course, uh, uh, what I what eventually should be done, and this is as I get my, you know, this part of the project done and sort of settled. Uh, I do want to go see whether or not the same type of pattern. Not the exact same pattern, but the same type of behavior, uh, the interaction between the pole and the equator, occurs in the southern hemisphere. So that's going to sort of uh, be something that I have to work on. And then I also have to go take a look at uh, other areas, other parts of the country, look, look, look at uh, what's happening there in terms of how the weather is shaping up there. And there you can sort of, sort of see 
from the satellite, I can, I can sort of gauge and say, okay, okay, this is what's happening here, this is the results here, and start comparing results, and this will give me some sort of uh, uh, direction to head off into next. Uh, but this, this, this is this is uh, standard. This is uh, the way it goes, and you know it's, it's it, it, it it takes about a month to get used to the schedule, and then then you're all right, sort of. <laughs> and I say sort of because there's always something new coming into the schedule. There's always something that's fallen off. There's always something that's occurring that comes in, brings in a tangent, and you go off into other places on, on that tangent to the distraction. And by the time you realize you've been off on that that tangent, it's been like a month or so, and you realize, oh, I forgot. <laughs> and that's kind of uh, what happens. Anyways, I'm going to leave this here for now. Uh, I'll go check my mail and come back out again. All right, take it easy. Well, everybody, welcome back to the next segment of Big Bang Theory All's BTS vlog. It is 20 hours. What? 19 hours and 54 minutes into... Huh? Yeah, he's in the altar. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, he's doing the team now. Yeah, vlog. Yeah. That's vlogging for you. Uh, as soon as you turn the camera on, people come in. <laughs> Uh, anyways, uh, it is 19 hours and 55 minutes into the day of Saturday, August 27th, 2016, and I'm at church. Uh, so this is the first day I've got the vlog, well, first day, first vlog of the day. Uh, last night I was out uh, doing observations again. Tonight it's going to be the same thing. Tonight uh, I'll get out there around 10 o'clock, you go at 2 o'clock in the morning. There's supposed to be another storm coming in, from what I've heard from other people, uh, uh, further south, I'm up in uh, the northern part of Toronto, so uh, it's called a town called Markham. And people further south and further west have been getting hit with uh, fairly heavy storms, and I've gotten to get nothing. So the question is, uh, what's going on? And we'll see what happens tonight because there's supposed to be another storm coming in. These storms that have, these last few storms that have sort of popped up, and literally have popped up. They weren't there 12 hours before, they're something brand new. Uh, and they sort of generate themselves within three to six hours and then came across so and they seem to be generated from uh, Lake Huron. Lake Huron seems to be the generating uh, section of them uh, what, uh, what they're generating I want to say not generate but uh, I would call it more of an induction so let's say Lake Huron induces the storms uh, that come up from the world, east, either way, it's the moisture that comes up from uh, uh, from Mexico. It's not. It's not even. It's not from the Gulf anymore. It's coming straight up over the landmass of Mexico, and you're having input from both Pacific and the Gulf of Mexico. You have input from both, and then coming uh, north across the Ohio Valley up to Toronto, then from Toronto out to uh, uh, Montreal, and out to St. Lawrence. So. Up to the North Atlantic, so that's the track of what's what I'm following. And then they said there's a system. That's the diagonal there. There's a system to the northwest that's there all the time, and then there's a system to the uh, southeast. So and the systems, well, the the systems to the northwest and the southeast are both circular systems. They're both like almost like a vortex. So. Uh, I'll be looking for that again tonight. I'm also now going to try to work, work into uh, the uh, observations observations from the sun. So solar astrophysics is now coming into the OR project. And that will sort of make the difference of, you know, see where we can go from there. See how the sun actually influences uh, what's seen on the ground here. So, But these are things that are, that, that are going to be done over a period of time. This is a project in the last... At least, for at least another year, anyways. Uh, they have to track it throughout the seasons. And once the season is done, I have to repeat that at least two or three, two or three time, more times. So that's if I do it three times, if I do a repetition of three times for this year's uh, research project. And this project's going to take an entire year of observations to do. Uh, that's uh, four years in total. So I've got another four years left to go uh, on this week before I really get my feet uh, somewhat solidly on the ground. Anyways, I'm going to leave this here for now. 
and uh, I'll talk to you uh, in the next segment. Hopefully, I can get my editing stuff done together tonight, uh, so I can get the clips uh, onto the computer, uh, labeled, and then into the editing bay. All right, take it easy. Welcome back to the uh, next segment of uh, Big Bang Theory LTB at the I think it can be safely inferred that since I'm not in my usual office that I uh, have successfully made it to church this uh, Sunday and I'm studying, studying my Greek. Uh, it is uh, just about uh, 9 hours and uh, 55 minutes into the day of Sunday, August 28th, 2016. It is my dad's name day. He's named uh, Paniotti. Uh, that's uh, in Greek. That's the name for Panihia. For male. So. And uh, it's also the beginning of. Uh, this is going to be the beginning of the bass vlog. It's the note sections for my antiquities and Byzantine and uh, Byzantine and Antiquity Studies Institute. Uh, for those studies, they have the Byzantine Antiquity Studies. This is the beginning notes. The ad hoc quotes. Uh, all, most of the vlogs are ad hoc initially, and then they become more organized later on as they move into other different topics. So, uh, so I'll show you a little bit around. It's in the altar and everything. So.
everybody. Welcome to the next segment of uh, Big Bang Theory's BTS vlog. That's right. It is just about 22 hours and 39 minutes into the day of Sunday, August 28th, 2016. Yeah, the last time I vlogged was in church. Well, and I also saw, well, I got it on my phone a little bit. I'll put the clip in here uh, for my dad's name day, so going to plot to my dad, so. Yeah, I got the, the bass vlog started. That's uh, going to be for meditations and a whole bunch of other different uh, things that will be on the Byzantine and Antiquity Studies TV. Uh, that's bass TV. Uh, I got that done. I'm outside now doing observations for atmospheric physics. I'll be here until like 1, 1 30. I'm waiting for a storm, the uh, uh, influence from the storm that's off the coast of uh, North Carolina. Uh, I'm waiting for that to come to hit to hit us. It's already showing up on the satellite, but the question is, uh, is it actually going to hit us? What's going to hit us? And, and uh, uh, how long will it take? So I'll know when I go in around one o'clock tonight. Uh, take the images off the satellite. I'll know uh, what's happened, what's, what's going on, and where things are possibly heading from there on out. So, anyways, I'm going to move this short here for now, and I'll see you in the next segment. Democratic Earth. Earth.